Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today's video we're going to be working on a black uh, denim jacket. It's the same principle as working on a black uh, shirt. The only difference is you're going to be using a little bit more paint. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to apply a thick layer of white, allow that to dry and continue applying several more layers until we're kind of satisfied with the uh, overall look of the white and then we're going to be adding some color on top of that. So I start worrying about details kind of like towards the end of the project where I start laying down the blacks, more of the darker colors and uh, trying to reach the final you know, layer which is the highlights and that's where it really kind of ties together and of course you know if you have any like additional details you want to add on there you can do that at the end like texturizing or uh, adding more smaller details that will make a difference in the art. So most of the projects that I work on uh, kind of average between one and two hours depending on how complex the design is. If it's something fairly simple, uh, we can get it done quicker and obviously if we want to put more detail in it, uh, it's going to take us a little bit longer. But I found out to uh, be able to move quickly, I try to lay down all my base color without any uh, worry about you know details or highlights and shadows and stuff like that. I just want to put a nice base color and then on top of that I'll start adding the um, more detail like shadows and stuff like that like if I'm working on a on a face I'll put like a base of skin color like all over the entire face and then I'll come back and start adding my browns This was a cool little project. The mom was having a birthday party for uh, her one year old and this is what she was going to wear at the event at the party and I thought that was kind of cool to try to you know line up the event and make make her uh, jacket all nice and colorful. I thought that was kind of cool and I've done it too for other uh, parties like 80s style or just in general like you know having someone else's portrait as a funny gesture and wearing their you know their friend's face on their own shirt which is always kind of fun. We're getting close to the end, just a few more highlights and we should be done with a portrait. I always like to add a highlight or a thin pinstripe around the uh, foreground and the background this way we can kind of separate both and it gives a nice it gives it a nice little um, kind of like airbrush feature because that's that's always been done uh, and it always looks kind of cool The jacket itself had some buttons there on the background which ended up getting painted when I sprayed the outline with, or the frame of the jacket and I just uh, took my little sander that I usually use for my custom controllers and just sanded it off, kind of polished the uh, metal and uh, cleaned it right up. I made myself little tags, little metal tags, so we're going to go ahead and put that on the front and make this complete and let's go ahead and take a look at the final results. And 
and that's going to be it for this video hopefully you guys are enjoying this channel this video and you guys are having a great week i'll definitely see you guys on the next video take it easy for now bye, -bye.